Good morning, good morning. I just wanted to take a moment to say hi. Pray all is well with everyone. I wanted to just do a little short video, something quick about um, snakes. And I'm not talking about real snakes, but I'm talking about the same snake that deceive Eve at the garden. Notice that God gave both Adam and Eve uh, a command not to eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Both Adam and Eve was enjoying the luxury of the garden being naked. They didn't know they were naked. They didn't know such thing. God had given both of them everything he wanted them to have. And if he wanted them to have that, he would have given them that. It was a reason why God withheld that tree from them. And I wanted to take the time to tell you that God spoke. They was obeying and enjoying the garden. And here come the killer, the stiller, and a destroyer to try to take away what God has given Adam and Eve. That's what the devil is trying to do to the people of God today. I just want you to understand that whatever God has given you, Satan wants the blessings. Satan is always after your blessing because he is a killer, a stiller, and a destroyer. God came that we may have life and have life abundantly. So whatever abundance that you have in your life, whether it's prosperity, whether it's increase, whether... Um, God is blessing you in your ministry, whether God is blessing you in your family, blessing you in your business, blessing you in your health. Satan wants the very thing that God has given you. He wants to convince God that you're not worthy. He wants to convince God, just like Job, that you are not blameless. I am here to testify today to encourage you that Satan wants what God has given you. Don't let him have it. Watch these snake voices. Whenever God speak and people try to take and twist and turn what God has already spoken to you or try to twist the word up, you know, let me give a perfect example. Let me give a perfect example. If God told you to go out and minister, okay, and then he say, I want you to go down to the homeless shelter and I want you to go minister to the homeless. Or perhaps I want you to go into the prisons and I want you to go minister. Then somebody come along and tell you that you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't do this. The day that God tell you to go do something, God already know the restrictions of it. God already know the requirements. When God told Moses, go down there and tell Pharaoh to let my people go. The first thing Moses said, who am I to go tell uh, Pharaoh that and who he is? What I like about that passage with Moses, Moses was just saying that I'm not qualified and God was saying, I know you're not qualified, but I'm going to qualify those who think they're not qualified. I'm going to qualify the underqualified. I know what to do to qualify you to fulfill the assignment. I know what to do to cause you to prosper in the things that I tell you to do. I know Pharaoh going to look at you like you're crazy. I know his pride. I know his arrogance. But do what I tell you to do. And Moses ended up losing the opportunity to be able to be the spokesman. And he had to settle for his brother Aaron because God made it clear to him who made man's mouth. I come to testify, God made your mouth. And you have to be careful with these snake spirits. These snake spirits come to kill, steal, and destroy. The snake spirit is after what God has promised you. He's after what God has blessed you. Now, the snake spirit only comes when you're enjoying the garden. The snake spirit spirit only come when you are, are enjoying the abundant life. He come to take that thing that God has given you. He come to sabotage it. He come to destroy it. I come to tell you, watch these snake spirits. Watch these snake voices trying to whisper. Them. They come subtle. They come scheming. Okay? And the whole bottom line is that he tried to convince the Adam and Eve that there was something better than what God offered them. God didn't want y'all to get that better part of seeing and knowing 
knowing the difference from good and evil. And the first thing that happened to them, they built some leaves to try to cover themselves up after they have uh, been deceived by the devil. See, when the devil is in it, you got to cover yourself, you got to hide, and you feel shame. See, long as you're obeying God, there's no shame. You don't have to hide. A hiding, and anytime you hide something is the indication that you are sin. Anytime you are hiding, it is an indication you have failed, you have sinned. Anytime you have been shamed or feel shame, it's an indication you have gone out of the will of God. Satan is a accuser of the brother. Satan is a schemer. Satan is a liar. Satan is cunning. Satan is crafty. Satan want your blessing. God bless you. My name is Tammy Codwell and you have tuned in with True Talk with Tammy. I just wanted to share with you to watch them snake voices. Watch them snake voices. Snake, snake season is always going on every single day. It doesn't change, okay? As long as you belong to God, Satan wants to get you to lose what God has given you. Adam and Eve lost the whole garden. Amen. God bless you.